we're back in Texas. I just finished doing my taxes in the Silverado, driving. The weather here in Texas feels amazing. You can see behind me, clear skies. It's like in the 60s, 70s, it's fresh. This is probably the best time to be in, in Texas, in Houston, before the summer gets here and then it gets humid and hot. I wanted to talk to you guys about the pros and cons of the USA, of being American, of living in the United States and the perspective of an American. I lived here all my life. I grew up here, I love it here. My family immigrated from Mexico. And just like every immigration story, my dad busted his ass to provide for my brothers and I. When my dad talks about it, like he, he went through a lot of shit to get to this country and also just to give us a better life compared to the life that he had back in Mexico. This video, it's going to be specifically through my perspective, through the lens of a, an American man, the male perspective, the pros and cons of living here. I've been to a lot of different countries. Some of the countries that come to mind off the top of my head would be like Mexico, since my parents are Mexican. I've been to Tokyo, which is Japan. And I've also been to Colombia, Medellin, Cartagena, been to South America. I feel like I have a pretty good perspective from seeing the seeing the U.S. from the inside and also from seeing it from the outside. Start off with the pros about the U.S. is that this country is safe, man. You feel safe when you drive. If you wear some expensive shit, like right now I have uh, I have my chain on, I have my glasses. You know, if I if I walk out dress well, there's no concern for my safety. You know, granted there's some areas that you just don't want to be at. I feel very safe being here. And being that I live in Texas, you can also carry a weapon here. You can have a CHL. I have my CHL license, and that gives me an extra layer of safety as well. I've been to Mexico, I've been to Colombia, and sometimes in those countries, you don't feel really safe. Like, you, you can feel the unsafety, la inseguridad, of being in those countries. And that's just one thing to consider is that, like, we take it for granted how safe we are in this country. And that's one thing that I love about the U.S. The second thing is opportunity. Like I mentioned, my parents are Mexican. So my, my dad, he grew up in Mexico. He came over here and he would tell me through his perspective how much opportunity there is here. And I see it firsthand because here there's so much opportunity. You just have to take advantage of it. Like a lot of, a lot of people don't take advantage of it. A lot of guys just kind of sit on the sidelines and they don't really use credit. They don't use the different benefits that we have as Americans. Like the American dollar is one of the strongest globally. We have a great, a great system for setting up businesses. You can set up an LLC like in like 20 minutes. So there's just a lot of opportunity here. It's just best to take advantage of it. The third pro would be government support. I know there's a lot of uh, camps out there that say that, you know, less government is better. But in some cases you do need government. You do need more like better, better organizations, better systems, better healthcare. And in the US, you'll find it, even though it's more expensive, but everything is organized here. Like you have everything at your fingertips. You need to go to the hospital. There's procedures for that. There's a actual, uh, uh, an organized system to go to the hospital and to use different government services. If you need assistance, like if you get laid off, you can get unemployment benefits. and. And that's not to say to take advantage of these systems or these benefits, but it's just helpful. Like the government is actually active to try to help its people. And in other countries, like in Mexico, it's very, like the help is very minimal. I think it's a pro. Granted, I think that less government is, is good as well. Like you don't want the government involved in everything that you do. Another pro is global influence. So we, we still have a lot of global influence. You see it when you go abroad, how much the American dollar influences different economies and how much just the American way of life influences the world. Everyone has something American, even though we get a lot of flack for being American, they still use our, our phones, iPhones. They still use uh, a lot of our companies, a lot of our softwares. They use a lot of our services. We offer tremendous value to the world. So there is a lot of global influence. You see, how our culture has influenced the world in a positive way and, and perhaps in a negative way, but I would argue that more in a positive, more positive attributes have come from the US, the, the capitalism 
from the U.S. Some people might disagree with that, but I think that the U.S. has influenced the world in a positive way. Next thing is that the diversity here in the U.S. There's a lot of diversity here. I have a lot of friends that are Indian, that are from Pakistan, from Vietnam, white, black, any color. There's just a lot of diversity, and it feels it feels good knowing that you can coexist with other other races, and that you can collaborate and you can work on different projects and just you know you have a more of a professional relationship with other other ethnicities and that feels good you feel like you're you're unique in a different and a melting pot of different people you get to learn a lot from these these other other places also the english language is a great uh, medium for us to communicate which is i think that's amazing a lot of people know english which is very which is very impactful it makes it easy to communicate that's a great pro especially when you're abroad like if you can speak english the most likely you're going to find somebody else that can speak english as well i, I can also speak spanish and there's some times that it's, it's difficult to find somebody that also speaks spanish in uh in a different country like in tokyo a lot of people didn't speak spanish uh, mostly everyone spoke english so you know like depends the country that you go to when i'm in mexico everybody speaks spanish but a lot of people also speak english same thing with colombia and one of my favorite pros is that the u.s is beautiful and there's a lot of land it's vast you have a lot of opportunity to invest in real estate uh, especially here in texas i see it a lot like i love being in the countryside of texas there's other locations that i haven't been to but i've i've seen that are also very beautiful like montana kansas Colorado, Oregon. There's a lot of beautiful locations here in the United States and that feels good because it lets you know that you can go to visit any of these places and that we have a lot of uh, a lot of natural beauty, a lot of natural scenery. You can explore the country. It's a very vast country. We have territories in, in Puerto Rico, just around all, all over the world. Also with Alaska and, and Hawaii. So. The U.S. is a, a huge country. There's a lot of beauty here. Those are my favorite pros of being an American. So stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to drop the cons of being an American. And I think that one's going to be interesting as well with this perspective of, you know, living abroad, growing up with immigrant parents. I think it's going to challenge your perspective a little bit about the U.S. And you're going to see the differences between living here and seeing it from the outside in. If you like this video, make sure to give us a like. Also, drop down in the comments what's your favorite part of being an American, of living in the United States. Drop it down in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you all in the next video. Stay strong, stay relentless, and keep on conquering. Peace.